Abraham, the great patriarch, was already quite ancient when he died of old age. Everything he had was passed to his son Isaac. He married Rebekah, with the intent to continue the lineage that God had promised to Abraham. But Rebekah was sterile, and the couple had no children. Isaac prayed to God, and he established his pact with Abraham's son. God affirmed Rebekah would give birth to twins, and each would be the patriarch of a different nation. But the rivalry between the twins would start in their mother's womb. By God's grace, Rebekah gave birth to two boys. The firstborn was called Esau, and attached to his older brother's heel, Jacob was born. The brothers, although they had shared the same womb, couldn't be more different in personality and appearance. Esau was red-haired and hairy and became a hunter, while Jacob became a shepherd. Isaac had a preference for Esau, who not only was his firstborn, but also brought meat that his father deeply appreciated. In turn, Rebekah had in Jacob her favorite. After an unsuccessful hunt, Esau went home hungry and found Jacob making a stew. He asked his brother for some of his food, but Jacob replied that he would only do it if Esau gave up his condition as Isaac's heir. Esau, whose judgment was clouded by hunger, gave up his right. His inheritance would be worthless if he died of starvation. Time passed, and when Isaac was old, feeling that death was impending, he asked Esau to go out to bring him some of the meat he liked. He would give him his blessings after it, to have a peaceful eternal rest. Rebekah, after hearing what Isaac had said, ran to her son Jacob, and together they plotted a way to receive this blessing in his brother's place, and to do so, he would have to impersonate Esau. They waited for Esau to leave to put their plan in motion. Isaac was almost blind, so Rebekah believed she could fool him. But Jacob had a smooth body, while Esau was quite hairy. Obeying his mother, Jacob slaughtered two of his lambs, and his mother prepared a tasty meal. She dressed her favorite son in his brother's clothes, and glued the lamb wool to Jacob's body to imitate Esau's hair, and walked to Isaac's tent. Jacob served the food to his old father, and walked to him to receive his final blessings. Isaac was unsettled by his son's voice tone, which sounded different. So he decided to touch him, but when he felt the hairy body of his son, his suspicion fell apart. With that, Jacob received his father's blessing, which had been intended to his brother, and walked away. Esau appeared right after his hunt, but it was too late. His brother had received his blessing. Esau wanted revenge, and Jacob was asked by his mother to flee and returned only when his brother's fury was appeased. During his exile, he had several children and prospered. A long period after that, God commanded him to return to his father's land, but he feared Esau's reception. When they met again, the brothers embraced each other and were reconciled. Jacob would continue the lineage of God's chosen people. It would be known as Israel and the people as Israelites.